Hi everyone, it's Rachel or Creative Sculpey and today I'll be doing the Paula McClay remake tag number two. The remake tag is basically where you take your old creations and then you remake them how you would now just to see the differences and how much you've improved. So the first charm I have to show you is this cute pineapple charm and it's probably one of the very first charms that I'd made out of Paula McClay. So I don't actually think this charm is too bad for a beginner. It doesn't have any, well, there's a little fault there, but um, it doesn't really have any dirt or anything like that on it. Bits of lint that usually get stuck to clay when you first start out. The main thing that bothers me is the little derpy face in the center. Firstly, I'll start off with the face. You can definitely tell that on the new one, it's a lot smaller and like more crisp, I guess. I also added blush to the new one and I used brown instead of black clay because I thought maybe it would blend in with the charm a little bit more and suit the colors a bit better. You can also tell overall the shape of the cube is a lot more precise and the little um, dents that I've made are neater and yep just neater and then the leaves of course I improved with those the shape and also the color I like the color on this new one a lot more than that so that's the first remake I did. The next charms I have are very simple but it's just these moon charms and this is the first one and then this is the remade one. With these charms I think the shape improved the most and also possibly the face. Um, this one obviously is a lot neater and it has like little blush cheeks, it's smaller compared to this one which I obviously mucked up a little bit on the mouth there. The new one is also a lot cleaner, I found that on this one it has a lot of dust and dirt and little bits of other clay stuck to it which is kind of gross. Another thing is that I kept the little craters a lot simpler on this charm. On this one I actually kind of think that it looks like it has little warts or pimples stuck all over it. With the new one I also use glow in the dark clay so you can kind of see it glows a little bit there. But yeah so that's the moon charms. Next up I have a little small charm which isn't actually a charm because I never put an eye pin in it. Um, I didn't actually make this too long ago and even though it looks like a very beginnery sort of charm, I was not happy with this because I had made better in the past and this I just hated it so much I was going to throw it out but I decided to keep it for some reason. So it has lots of dirt stuck to it, I never glazed it, it's horribly shaded, I tried to make it look toasted and of course that little face isn't the best. It's kind of cute, but yeah. And then texturing on the biscuits looks like I've stabbed it with a needle tool and it's not very realistic at all. So here is the new one. This is what the new one looks like. It's whiter, the clay is cleaner, the face is cuter. Um, I decided to make the chocolate with clay rather than like liquid clay just to make it thicker and stand out a lot more and also the biscuits are like a lot nicer they look cleaner and they're more lighter in color rather than very heavily shaded so yeah I really like this improvement so this next little creation is a beehive which I believe was originally inspired by someone on YouTube it might have been a tutorial or a charm update maybe I don't remember this was made about three years ago so I remember seeing it on YouTube somewhere and then decided to make it. So this is what it looks like. The face, obviously. I always talk about the face, but that's a major improvement. You get better as you go. Also, the little bee, he's got fingerprints and he's a bit squished as well. And then here is my new little beehive charm, which is out of focus. So I made my own color for the beehive. It's mixed with like the quartz colors and a bit of other colors I don't even remember. And tower with the face again, um, the little bee I used translucent for his wings this time to make him look nicer. He's more neater and I also gave him a little sting if you can see that. And then with the four different sections on the beehive on the new one you can tell that they're stacked a lot neater and they're also rolled out more evenly so that's that. Oh and the size is also a little bit smaller as well. This next remake is quite a bit different to the others. So this is the old one. This is like the old creation that I decided to remake. It's a little star cookie with pink icing and little pink micro marble like sprinkles. Originally I had black icing for some reason and then I decided I didn't like it so I tried to put pink on and then as it's like baked you can see the pink 
you can see the black through the pink icing. Also the micro marbles on this bled because I didn't cook it straight away. So then I kind of thought if somebody today asked me to make a star cookie with pink icing, how would I make it? And then this is what I came up with. So this is the new charm. As you can see, it's quite a bit different to what I was saying before. Usually I try to make them pretty similar just to compare the main differences. But this one, I didn't want to make a new one like this because that's not how I make charms anymore. So if somebody asked me to make a star cookie with pink icing today, this is how I would do it. As you can see, I've added a face. There's little rainbow sprinkles. The icing looks a lot nicer. It's more nicely shaded and textured. The only thing I think I would change about this charm is maybe make the pink icing a little bit darker because it does look very pale on camera and kind of looks a little bit white or like flesh colored. So I would probably make it a bit darker, but there's that improvement. This next remake is actually the best one I think out of all the charms I've shown you today. But here is the old one. So these are some little cactus characters and these are based off Sabo Kappa by San X, which is like a line by them, how they have all their different characters. So this is one of them. At the time of making this, I remember absolutely loving it. I thought it was the best thing in the world. And I remember being super impressed with the faces on this one, thinking that they were so small and I was like the best crafter ever because I can do the smallest faces and no. Now that I've picked on myself, I don't actually think this charm is like too bad. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. And again, I say that for every charm. But anyway, it's, I think it's actually quite nicely stacked. Um, like it was a good attempt, I tried. And then here is the newly remade one, which I think probably is one of my favorite charms at the moment. I only made this one the other day and I'm already in love with it. So all the colors on this are a lot more pastely compared to the old one, even the flowers and the pot. I actually changed the face a little bit with the little bottom cactus, as you can see, because I just didn't feel like making a face like that. So I gave him a different expression. Here's just a little comparison of the two. I also really like how shiny this one is. Um, I obviously didn't glaze this one. I don't think I had glaze when I made that. I don't remember. But yeah, this one is super shiny. So the last thing I have to show you for this remake tag is a mini evolution. And this is of popsicles or creamsicles. It's meant to be a creamsicle. This was the very first one. It's a little orange flavored one and this is just what it looks like. For the cream, it was meant to be white, but I couldn't tell the difference between white and translucent clay before it was baked back in the day. So I used translucent in the center, which means it's not really like a creamsicle, it's just a popsicle. The next creation in this evolution is this red creamsicle. And you can see here that I remembered to use white instead of translucent this time. So it does have cream inside it. For this one, I actually thought I used a toothpick for a second, but then I remembered I put metal, like I rolled some brown clay around some metal and you can actually see that it's showing through, which it probably isn't meant to be doing. And then the most recent creamsicle I made is this little kawaii pink one. So this one also has the white cream inside. I also like the face. I added some little like textury lines on the front here. And the little stick is also a lot more realistic. And I actually um, textured it as well to make it look like a real popsicle stick. And then here is just an overall comparison of those three charms everything I have to show you for my remake tag. If you enjoyed and would like me to do another type of this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below telling me which one you think I improved on the most. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!